in our last video we learned the integration of fx dx is equal to capital fx plus k now the question is why do we need a constant of integration to answer that question we have to do some exploration so let's consider a function first so dy dx of sin x is cosine x and dy dx of sin x plus 10 is also cosine x as you know integration is the inverse process of differentiation so looking at these two differentiation how do i know to write the exact integration of these two differentiations to answer that question let's first integrate cosine x with respect to x and if i do that i will write integration of cosine x dx is equal to sine x plus k where k is of the constant of integration to find the exact value of the integration let's first consider k equals to zero when i take k is equal to zero the integration of cosine x dx will be sine x plus k since we are taking k as zero i will write sine x plus zero and sine x plus zero is sine and this is exactly same as the first differentiation when we take k equals to 10 integration of cosine x dx is equal to sine x plus k and since we are substituting k as 10 so we will write sine x plus 10 and then sine x plus 10 is sine x plus 10 and this is exactly the same as second derivative as you can see the antiderivative of any function is not unique and that's why we need a constant of integration 